If you want to be a vegan, that's fine. Eat whatever you want and face the consequences. End up on the toilet 16 times per day. Have diarrhea, have digestive upset, muscle loss, depression, tooth decay and whatnot. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to talk about is veganism a religion? Reason being, I just stumbled across a video called What Rights Do Vegans Have? And there was this animal activist talking about how he wants to stand up not only for the animals, but for the humans, for the vegans as well. Let's have a closer look. My purpose is so close to the concept of veganism, that it almost seems that I was born to be the vegan I am today. I felt closer to animals than to people, because animals seem nicer, people seem very dangerous. It put me in a position I never expected, which is the position to actually protect vegans, protect those that try to protect the animal. Veganism is not a protective characteristic, as it's gender, or it's age, or disability. But you can make it a protective characteristic. And I realized that my case was going to be the first one. And I started a case of unfair dismissal for uh, my philosophical beliefs. And in the 2nd and 3rd of uh, January 2020, it will be a hearing in, in, in the employment tribunal where that question will be asked. Is veganism protected or should be protected? And if I'm successful, then ethical veganism, all ethical vegans will be protected from discrimination. And that has a, a strong impact, impact because it's not only preventing vegans to be fired, but it's also preventing vegans to be discriminated in any other way. So at the moment you can complain, but if that belief, this philosophical belief is protected, as are many other protective philosophical beliefs these days, then suddenly we are an equal. Veganism will have the same equal protection than religious have. All these changes is, is moving into a new world in veganism, a world of policy. It's no longer just changing people's behavior. Now starting to create rules and regulations that start make this change easier and make people that choose not to hurt animals better protected. So, as you just saw, self-admittedly, veganism is a belief system, is a religious belief system that therefore needs protection. It needs protection of criticism. Vegans do not want to be criticized by anybody. They do not want to step out of their limited belief system. They do not want to be criticized. They fear confrontation. You shall not criticize them. However, if they intrude farms, that is a-okay. They're trespassing, entering into private properties. No worries. They can attack everyone. They have all the rights in the world as a protected belief system. That reminds me of radical religions yet again, right? You cannot attack them, but they have every right in their book to attack you. No worries. And this is the same route that the vegans want to go. It sounds all so benevolent, right? For the animals, we're just taking care of them. Yeah, sure. The reality of things is they want to propagate their message and you won't be able to stand up for yourself. You won't be able to stand up for your children. You won't be able to criticize what goes into your mouth. This is what this is boiling down to. If you want to be a vegan, that's fine. Eat whatever you want and face the consequences. End up on the toilet 16 times per day. Have diarrhea, have digestive upset, muscle loss, depression, tooth decay and whatnot. That is your choice. But if we cannot criticize you for that, we are living in a world that is against free speech. And this is exactly what veganism is boiling down to. It is against free speech. It is a radical religious movement. It is a belief system that is entrapping people slowly but surely, pulling them into the cult and closing the door on top. People that find themselves in the cult right now, they can at least go on YouTube and see fellow people that have been suffering on this diet because it's nothing more and nothing less. Veganism, realistically, is a diet, nothing more. The belief system comes later. The ethical implications, go vegan everybody, that comes later after the brainwashing. But now we still have this medium here, YouTube, where we can criticize your deficient diet. And people that do not feel well on this diet can see it and make a change, make an informed decision. But once this proposal becomes a reality, do you understand that all of our YouTube channels 
will be shut down for hate speech, hate mongering and whatnot. I urge all the anti-vegans to get together and protest against this. We have to stand up for our right, for our free speech, for our free choice of nutrition, of what goes into our mouth and what not. No matter how rigid the belief system is, it has to be open to criticism. Every single aspect of human life has to be open to criticism. People have to be informed. People have to make informed choices. People have to see the truth and then decide. It is nothing but a new age belief system that comes under the premise of compassion, environmentalism. It is a scam. It is a lie. We talked about this numerous times here on this channel. There is nothing more sustainable than regenerative agriculture, rotational grazing methods. There is nothing more carbon neutral than that practice. There is no better food source than meat for the human physiology. If you look into our intestines, you will see there is no way in hell that we are herbivores, starchivores, frugivores, and we are definitely not processed junk foodivores that have to rely on those companies to get food. Don't you see that that makes no sense whatsoever? It is a lie being sold to you. People telling you that now you have to eat the daily dozen. The daily dozen, 12 foods that are manufactured in huge companies for you to eat. That is ridiculous, don't you see it? Meanwhile, you could just get a couple of backyard chickens and have your own little co-op where you get nutritious food on a daily basis. If you want to have some vegetables, you can plant them in your garden. You can raise some animals that you then slaughter. You can eat of the land and be healthy. But now nobody sees it anymore. Everybody's brainwashed, completely deluded. And the best part is we are not allowed to speak out against it. We're not allowed to raise our voice and talk about what is healthy and what is not, what is good for children and what is child abuse. We're not allowed to talk anymore. It is illegal, right? This is what they want. Don't you see this? A new age religion of soy boys. And you have to shut up and eat the soy sludge. Bon appetit. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Just a quick rant, something that I had on my mind and wanted to share with you. Please stand up for your rights. We do not want to live in such a reality. All right, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.